What is up YouTube and welcome to another Crib Zone Excursion. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe for more. And in this one. There's a couple things you could do in order to try and find your lost dog. If he does ever get lost, I'm gonna be going over four ways on how you can hopefully find your dog if he ever manages to get lost. Your first option will always be to make flyers. Open up your pages. This is why it's important to always have a picture of your dog. If you don't have a picture of your dog, it's gonna be pretty hard trying to find a lost dog. Boom, there we go, we imported a picture. Let's put as the title, Lost Doggo. Several things you wanna include on your poster. The first being Lost Dog. Make sure people are able to read this from a pretty far distance, so you're gonna wanna make the font big. The second thing you're gonna need will be his name, Crypto. Third thing you should add to your poster will be how someone will contact you. That being, I would recommend just adding a phone number and an email. Boom, don't call that number. I have no idea whose number that is. That's what we have so far. We have a lost dog. We have the name. We have a way for them to contact us. The picture, sadly, the most important thing you will need to put on the poster will be the reward. If you don't put a reward, there's a higher chance that people will not contact you since keeping the dog will be a reward by itself. So make sure you put a reward for your dog. Try not to go stingy on the reward just so they're encouraged to call. After you have your poster created, make several copies of this, spread this out all throughout your city. This has been one way on how you can find your lost dog. Now that you guys have made the posters, you need to go to the areas that you believe your dog would be around. Believe it or not, your dog will most likely travel the opposite way of the normal route you guys take them, just because dogs like to discover new areas. So go the completely opposite way and start spreading those posters like HIV. I didn't print any posters, but I did make these. I will be removing these on the way back. So no, I am not vandalizing. Catch me in the streets, how about that? Go around leaving your posters all throughout the city. You're gonna wanna make sure your posters aren't gonna be taken down. So make sure you put a lot of tape on them. Hit the VTech Crypto! We got a different camera view. Let me know if you guys enjoy this view. It's strapped to my wrist. I should have a Roly on it, but I have a GoPro on it instead. It's all right. The next possible option on how you can find your dog will have to be social media. This generation is the internet generation. Take advantage of this. Post a picture of the poster on all of your social media platforms, including Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Tell your friends to forward the picture. The more awareness that your dog's lost, the better it is. Try to spread that thing like HIV. That joke was not targeted to all the HIV people. I hope I don't catch no HIV. Knock on wood. That was inappropriate. Contact your animal shelter. That could either be ASPCA or whatever animal shelter you guys have. Let them know that your dog is lost. Give them a way to contact you as well. If someone finds your dog and they don't want it, they will most likely return it to an animal shelter. If you guys didn't know, since the animal shelters are so packed, if a dog is in the shelter, I believe 10 days, I could be wrong, don't quote me on that, they will euthanize your dog. So you have 10 days to save your damn dog. So in those 10 days, you better be hitting the VTech. So check your local animal shelter. Ooh, too bad I don't see no fatty. No amino acids. Better get the fuck out the way, girl. Hey, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> this dog already knows where to fucking go. It's kind of scary. 
Good boy! Good boy! Quick talk! How to try to get in contact with your lost doggo will be Craigslist. Oh, you want some water? You want some water? Make a Craigslist ad similar to the poster, letting people know that you have lost your doggo. Let your dog take pisses everywhere. When your dog takes pisses, that's the only way they leave their scent. If there's no scent they know anywhere around them, how are they supposed to find their way back? Take your dog all throughout a city, let them take pisses everywhere. That means you have to exercise your dog. Someone asked the question, why is my dog smelling grass and he doesn't want to move? That's because some other dog left his scent. Another dog took a piss in the exact same spot. I hope you guys never have to take the advice of this video. I hope your dog never gets lost. But if he does get lost, I hope this video helped you guys out. Something's wrong with this board, man. It like curves or something. <laughs> There's been times that this dude actually runs away. A dog escaping is, is really unpredictable, so it could happen at any point in time. You gotta be prepared and know what to do. The final thing I'm gonna be going over, I'm gonna be going over two things that you can do before your dog escapes that will somewhat ease your mind and give you hope on you finding your dog. The first thing will be to get your dog microchipped. When you go either to a pet store or the vet to give your dog their shots, they give you an option to microchip your dog. People misunderstand the microchip and they believe that they can track their dog wherever they are. That is not true. All the microchip does, if your dog is ever taken to a vet, then the vet will scan for the microchip and get a hold of you. The microchip has all your information in it, as in your telephone number, your address. I believe that's it. Oh no, there's a cat. See, cats are humans too, dog. <laughs> He's like, what the hell? If your dog is microchipped, that does not mean you have a 100% guarantee that you will find them. The microchip only works if your dog is taken to a pound or an animal shelter. If someone decides to be a douche and keep your dog, I'm sorry, but there is absolutely nothing you can do. All of you dog owners should own this. That is a dog collar ID. I had this made for $4 on Amazon. This is a must for all dog owners. If you guys don't own a dog collar ID, I'll put the link on the description down below. Every dog owner needs to have this. If your dog gets lost, you will feel super guilty just because you didn't buy this. This is customizable up to four lines. Crypto was on the hunt, saw a pretty young thing. Now doggo lost, please call. Now the phone number is right there. I'm also microchipped. Have two baby mamas, no babies. This is the best way on how to give you any slight hope on you finding your dog. A dog collar ID is the cheapest purchase you can make to ensure your dog's safety and return home. Go down to the description, buy it, it's only $4. Some people don't really like to go through the trouble of trying to find a dog owner. That's where the dog ID tag comes in. Every dog needs to have a dog ID. I'll throw the link down in the description. Make sure you guys buy this, it's a must. To all the new subscribers, welcome. To all the old subscribers, welcome. You know we never discriminate subscribers here. Let me know in the comments if you guys are interested in rat stickers. <laughs> she bad. That's pretty much all the tips I have. If you guys are here because you lost your doggo, I hope this video helped you guys out. If your dog did get lost, do all the things I mentioned in this video and your chances of finding your dog will increase dramatically. There's good people in this world and there's bad people in this world. Some people will keep your dog. Just like if you lose your phone, some people will keep your phone. Stay optimistic and hopefully you guys find your dog off and he returns happily and safely to his house. That's gonna go ahead and be it for this video. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more. Peace. This here is Hanzo, my leopard gecko. These dudes are nocturnal, so they do only come out at night. These type of geckos require 
a hot side which has a, a heat mat under and a humid side.